Hey folks, it's Jesse Randall. I'm here at the Forestry Innovation Center. We thought we would give you a, a very quick update uh, on our food plots. And so you're gonna see us over the next week or two uh, go to, to visit each of the food plot trials uh, that, that we've put on here. This is one of those uh, newer food plots. And, and from, an, from an agronomy sense, there's a lot of weeds out here. And uh, we've done that kind of on purpose, actually. What we have in here, and this is very new for us, this is a, a pea. And uh, we're looking at this one because it's new. Uh, the deer are just beginning to come through and eat the tops of these peas off of. Uh, they're highly nutritious. It adds a lot of nutrients back into the ground. The one thing we found though is these are a climbing type of pea. And so the cleaner that we kept our food plot, the worse these plants were doing. And so as you can see, these peas are beginning the process to climb up the weeds. Now, if you recall, this site out here right behind the windbreak uh, was purple top turnips. And you're beginning uh, or, or you're seeing now that the, there was a little bit of leftover purple top turnip seed or plants here uh, from last year. We have a little bit of corn that has uh, populated into this area. So it's really a mixed bag as the deer feed through here out into the prairie sites that we've established. You can really see how the edge has been mowed down. These, these wildlife, the deer in particular, have really got a taste for this. You come out here in the evening time and, and they're just wading through this sea of highly nutritious forage. Now, these are somewhat hardy in terms of frost because it is a pea. So we know that this will get us into late September here in the Upper Peninsula. And, and so we know that uh, we're gonna have to deal with this weed pressure next year. This site I've already designated, this is where our uh, Roundup Ready field corn will go to knock our weed pressure down. Um, so this is really a mixed bag, what you see in here, primarily uh, pea. I think this went on, if I'm not uh, mistaken, at about 25 to 40 pounds of seed per acre. It, would, it was broadcast, uh, Kyle broadcast it with our, our four-wheeler uh, spreader, and then it was, uh, it was just cultipacked in, and that's all we've done. Now we've had a drought this summer. We've had probably three, four weeks that it has just continually gotten drier and drier and drier. So this provides a really good uh, sense of what this plant can do with no fertilizer, with some moderate weed pressure and a drought condition. So this is one that we're gonna pull back into the rotation uh, year in and year out, mainly putting nutrients back in the ground and the more times we put this out here, the more the deer are going to eat this as a food source. So they're getting a taste of it this year. By next year, they're really gonna hammer uh, wherever we plant these, uh, these Austrian peas. Just a quick update, and uh, please like and uh, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on our Uper Forestry YouTube page.